Morgan, and I'm a brand new student at Williams College, and I'm going to give you a room tour. So here at Williams, there are two different areas for freshman housing. There's Mission Park and Frosh Quad, and this year they're also using an additional building because of COVID. Um, but I am at Mission. I always wanted to be in Mission because Mission is entirely singles. This year, all of the rooms are singles, but Mission is also kind of a little newer and nicer. But I've been here for a few days. Um, we are quarantined upon arrival, so basically we can't leave our rooms except to pick up food once a day and um, to go to the bathroom and we always have to wear a mask. So it's getting rough. Today's the first day. I really, really want to go outside. It's a really nice day out. So it made the most sense for me to drive to Williams um, this year, so I was able to bring a lot more stuff than I would have been able to if I was flying, so just keep that in mind as you see the stuff that I brought. I probably overpacked, they asked us to pack lightly this year. It was just, I had no point of reference for how much is a lot, so I guess we'll see as the year goes on. Also, because the school year hasn't started yet, I don't know exactly how I'll, how I'll use this space, and that's certainly subject to change, but we'll get on with it. So this is my door. I got this like over the door hook so that I can have like my towel and my robe. I have a purse and my shower caddy, um, so all that can sort of dry off since obviously some of it gets wet and it's just more storage space. Um, we actually, I'm really happy with our shower situation. Five of us share one shower, which has not been a problem at all so far. And it actually has like a little like changing area outside the shower for added privacy, which is super nice. So if we continue over this way, I have a poster and I accidentally bought a hundred feet of string lights. They were super cheap on Amazon, so I don't know. I didn't like spending so much money on Amazon, but because of COVID, that was sort of my only choice because I wasn't going to spend a bunch of unnecessary time in Target or whatever. So anyway, we have my fan. Definitely need a fan um, because it gets pretty stuffy in here, I'd say. Like, it's like 60 degrees out in August, which is bonkers to me. Um, so I like to keep my window open, you might be able to hear it, <laughs> but definitely need a fan even though it isn't super hot outside. And then this is my clock. It actually it has a dimmer, um, so I like to dim it at night so it's not a bunch of bright light. Some books, my music, because I haven't been able to store that yet. Games, so all dorm rooms come with this bookshelf. Um, and I got a power strip, and that's my backpack. But we're going to skip over the next wall because that's a bunch of pictures, and I don't want to show you pictures of people who don't want on social media or whatever so laundry hamper and then here's my bed we still have those string lights going it's a lot of string lights um, so I highly recommend a tapestry this was a gift um, and as you can see it takes up an entire wall so it is just so much brightness so much color that is it's really great it adds so much light to the room it's actually a little too big because it's supposed to be like a sunrise and you can't really see it or a sunset but it's okay and then I got this comforter. Um, sadly, like the colors go together really well with the tapestry and the bedspread, but the patterns, I think it's sort of busy, but it's okay. I want there to be a lot of life and color in this room, as you can see. So I have that blanket, and then I have my shoes beneath the bed, a bunch of extra like boxes and stuff beneath the bed just for moving in. Hello, brought my stuffed animals from home. Not that I ever really use them at home, but I think it's really nice, especially the first few nights, just in case. Um, just nice to have as many just like little tokens from home as you can bring. I definitely recommend that. So yeah, shoes there. And then this is a bedside caddy, which I am a big fan of. Um, because then I can like read right at night, keep my book there, I keep my water bottle there at night, and my glasses. So I don't, I wouldn't say this is an absolute necessity because I could have just put my bookshelf next to my head. Um, or my head next to my bookshelf would probably be a lot easier, <laughs> but um, it was just really hard to know what I was gonna need, and this seemed like a good idea, so I got it. So, moving over this way, this year Williams is giving every student a micro fridge, which is a combination microwave, freezer, and fridge, which is pretty great. So, I have this like little eye mask, Kleenex, Williams reusable straw, my mug, and then this microwave, it works pretty well. It has plug-ins, so it has USB ports, which is where I plug in my lights. And I can also like charge my computer there, so I can charge it for my um, bed, which is super nice. So the freezer is like separate from the fridge. I need to clean up these wires, but I'll give you a look. 
at what's inside. Oh, I forgot something. This is my reading lamp. Highly recommend, especially like I like to read right before bed. Um, and that's super nice. Okay, my fridge does not smell good. <laughs> um, so they gave us 12 milks, which is a lot of milk, but they give us cereal and tea and stuff, so I've been using it. Six yogurts, and I brought some sparkling ice from home, and I brought some Vermont maple butter, long story. So this is William's food. So we get food delivered once a day, it's two meals. Um, we get a dessert, I already ate mine, it was a lemon bar. We get an apple, which is wrapped in plastic wrap, I guess. Needlessly, sadly, I won't eat this because I really like the flavor of apples. It can make me feel really nauseous. We get a roll. These are not very good. They're hard and like whole wheat and kind of gross. We get the same salad every day with balsamic and ranch. So, you know, that's fine. This is like a lunch meal. I guess you're supposed to eat it cold, but that is chicken and rice. So I'd probably heat it up. But there's also like a bean salad and like salsa and guac but I don't know like these aren't refrigerated and there isn't space in our fridge for them and that makes me kind of leery so I think I might have something else for lunch tomorrow the chicken in that does not taste very good and then this is our like dinner like hot entree so we have a crap ton of green beans some rice and then the salmon this is actually a meal we've had before um the salmon is actually quite good. I guess they're on a three-day rotation of food, which is a little sad. And last time the chicken was different and better in this, so, but it's all good. They're doing their best to accommodate everyone and there are also options for like gluten-free vegan. So then we see this gigantic window. It's so big and I love it so much. It's very bright, but that's the view. I have the window open right now. And I don't know how well you can see it because of the screen, but it is just a beautiful view. So that is Mount Greylock in the distance, which is the mountain that all of these nearby towns surround. Um, can't really see the sunrise. I tried to this morning because the sky was kind of pretty, but it's sort of blocked by the mountains and the trees in the distance and the clouds. Some beautiful view blue skies over here. Obviously trees everywhere. This is like a loading dock for the um, dining hall downstairs which sadly is not open this year. And we have like tennis courts over there and like more fields back there, tennis court there. And I really don't know what's in other directions because I'm not allowed to leave this room. But, so my desk is right in front of a window, which I love. So my desk setup is I have this desk lamp, which is super cool. It has like, you can touch it and it lights up with like different intensities. And then for the light on the side, you can like choose what color it is. And then it'll like, I don't know, it's cool. Um, and I could plug stuff into this too. So I, I definitely underestimated the number of outlets I would need and overestimated the number of outlets I would have. I really didn't think that through. Um, but I was able to plug in an extension cord behind the fridge. And then, but that was a two prong extension cord, which was a terrible idea. It was really an accident. But I could plug in the desk lamp to the, because it was two prong. And then, I could plug my reading light into the desk lamp. So it all worked out. Um, so on my desk, I have some tea I was drinking, I have my planner, my computer, I'm just doing some like orientation online stuff. I have this cute little pencil holder. I have my pencil sharpener. And this is just like a little clear container thingy that um, holds my makeup, my wallet, my student ID stapler, hole punch, water bottle. So the desk also is included furniture. Um, and so it comes with some really nice drawers. So I have one for office supplies, one for like medicine and stuff like that, and one for school supplies. We'll see how that changes as the year goes on. This is definitely not a very comfortable chair. Definitely recommend, recommend bringing like a cushion. This slides out. Um, just for more storage, or you could like put your keyboard there, but I don't have a keyboard. I guess I do, but it's attached to my computer. And so I have, this is my second set of lights, which are, they were like $8 on Amazon and they're remote controlled and super fancy. It's pretty great. Um, so over here we have the thermostat, which has three settings. Um, saving energy, 68 degrees, and turn it down. 
but there's no AC, which is why you need the fan, obviously. I basically turned my masks into a decoration. Um, Williams provided us with three of the masks and the rest I brought from home. So, I don't know, I just thought that was fun. And then here's some more college provided furniture. We're gonna skip those pictures over there too. Um, but this is a wardrobe they give us. So up top, I put my yoga mat and there, so there is enough space for a yoga mat on the floor. Probably won't be able to see it super well, but there's just enough space for a yoga mat. I've been doing some yoga and some workouts and it's definitely hard. I definitely get sort of busy doing it since it's such a combined, confined space, but it is possible, which is important this year. And then I have a drying rack up there for sweaters and stuff. So inside here, we have an extra towel, which I don't know, might be unnecessary, fanny pack and drawstring bag. And then the, oh, we have this high. They get, so they gave us both of these mirrors, which is super nice. I didn't really know what to expect, but apparently all mission rooms come with two mirrors and Frosh Quad is much more of a gamble, which is sort of a theme with this sort of thing as I'm starting to learn. So, but yeah, I love this. And like, not that I take very many mirror selfies, but it is perfect for it, like with the view behind me. It is just fantastic. Okay, so um, I did not bring quite enough hangers for all my stuff. I prop, or maybe I just brought too many clothes. Um, but I have like a super heavy duty like paint, painting mask just in case I need to fly home or anything like that for an emergency. Up here I have snacks I brought from home. I brought way too many snacks from home, but oh well. And then I have like hats, sunglasses, that sort of stuff. And then I have more snacks from the college, so. This is the exciting stuff, right? So in this, we have just some chips. We have oatmeal, microwave oatmeal, chocolate chip cookies, a bunch of cereals, Nutri-Green bars, Rice Krispie Treats, um, Swiss Mix, Swiss Miss, um, Oreos, cereal, and then in this one, this is tea that I brought from home, fruit cups, honey, utensils, uh, tomato soup and chicken noodle soup. We have, this is more tea from the college, napkins, more of my tea. I brought salt, which I definitely recommend, and an herb, like Italian herbs, which I also recommend. They gave us like, some cups that are microwave safe and that tea. So that was super nice. It's just because we're in quarantine, obviously we aren't allowed to leave. And initially the meals they were giving out were like, very skimpy and people said they're just like really bad and really not enough food so they're supplementing that with a bunch of other food and they're also giving us much heartier meals and they gave us a bunch of water which you know obviously all that plastic is not ideal but given the circumstances it's sort of what ended up happening so and then we have some just drawers down there where I put some more clothes so we're going to skip the pictures over there and we have, this is like the dresser. Um, so I have a sewing kit that my grandma gave me um, that she said would be useful. I don't know. I actually used it once already to like sew, sew a mask so it fit a little better. They gave us a ton of apple juice and orange juice and Gatorade um, that I'm definitely never going to drink. I have my Williams water bottle and this is my earring holder at home. And I wasn't going to bring it because I wasn't bringing that much jewelry. But honestly, it's just like a really cute accent in the room. Um, and so I put like earrings on one half and so I wrapped some rings on it and some necklaces. So definitely recommend just bringing things from home and making it feel like home, you know? Making it interesting. I have my hand sanitizer, very important. Try to use that anytime I come inside the room. That's my breakfast. Um, and this is a Bluetooth speaker. Obviously more clothes are in there. Another poster. Definitely having things on the wall is super important. And then trash and recycling bins from the college. So that's my room. It's rather busy. Like I have so much going on with all these lights now, but I really like it. It feels like home. Um, I felt like when I saw these rooms in videos and in pictures, they seemed really big. And when I actually got here, it is tiny. Um, now that I have everything put away and it's not just like sitting in boxes on the floor, it feels a little more spacious, but I don't know. They say they're like 100 square feet, which I feel like is sort of a meaning. I don't know. I don't know what 100 square feet is, but I would say as a good frame of reference, like on the floor, you can lay down a yoga mat and that is about as big as it is. 
but that's that's a point of reference for you. So, oh, and you you can loft the beds or at least raise the beds. You can't like have them so the desk is underneath them, um, but you can raise them a little bit so you can fit like your dresser underneath. I didn't feel any need to do that, and also we would have had to do it alone. Um, so I was whatever. Um, we did have to do all the move-in by ourselves, so I'm glad I'm only on the second floor because that was a lot of work. But yeah, this is my room. So let me know if you have any questions, whether it's tips for packing for college, and I can try to help even though I haven't really experienced college yet, or Williams in general, um, or about quarantine, COVID, all that stuff. And I'm going to try to keep, I know I only have like low quality um, video and audio, and I'm sorry about that, but I'm going to try to keep putting out this content because it sounds like it's useful and I just want to help out. So have a great day.